Hey guys, it's Nancy Ann. Today, we're going to be unboxing Dia and Company. Hey everyone, welcome and welcome back if you're returning. I really appreciate you being here and all the wonderful support. I have the best viewers on the planet. I say that all the time, but you guys have been really good to me. And I just really appreciate that you take a little bit of your time to, to spend unboxing new clothes with me. <laughs> so Ruger has decided to sit over here for some reason. I have no idea when his bed is over there, but I have a feeling he's keeping an eye on my husband out in the office too. It's on the other side of the wall that's sort of behind you. So maybe he'll join us at some point. We've got my Dia box. Dia and Company is a terrific company. They are um, a plus size styling service. Their sizes do start at 10. And if you're a curvier girl like me, even if you are in a size 10, often for me, their clothing will actually fit a little bit better. I've had very good luck with them. Every once in a while, something will be off, but I, I love this service. Also, their prices are not outrageous. Um, in, as in many of these boxes, you can pay a little bit more than you would in the store. Of course, you are paying for the styling service and for some of the overhead that they have. Um, but Dia, their prices just aren't aren't crazy out of this world. Um, for instance, I got this jacket. They sent it to me. It was on sale. It was regular 89 and I think I got it for 52 and change. I love this jacket. I got these jeans from Dia, and I think they were mid-50s range, which if you've been paying attention to these boxes at all, you know that that's really a kind of a a very reasonable price. Also, I love my stylist. Um, I've been having a gal, her name is Chels, I believe it's pronounced. It's apparently short for Chelsea. She's done a super good job styling me and she's the only stylist who has played with the fact that I like 40s and 50s inspired clothing. So I'm really excited to be unboxing this one today. Um, Dia and Company, of course, is a styling service. You fill out a profile online. They send you five items to try on in your home. I believe there's three days to uh, decide what you want and send it back. I think it's a $20 styling fee, gets credited back towards anything in the box. If you use my link below, you will get a 25 credit towards your next box, and I will get a 25 credit, dollar credit as well. So let's bust into our box, shall we? All righty, break in here. Here we go, carefully opening. Don't stab the chair. There we go. Let's see what we've got in here. So there is my stylus note. It is kind of trying to poke out. Fits in this little envelope, but it kind of came out and got a little wrinkled. And the prices, I believe, are going to be down in there. Yeah, I'm not going to look at prices right now, but I am going to slide the stylus note out. I'll take a peek in a minute and see if it's anything that really, you know, you would want to have read to you. There's something else in here. Oh, this is new. Dia and Company seasonal boxes. Ah! New style for life's moments. Try our seasonal style boxes and show up feeling your best. It's another way for personal styling to fit into your life. Well, that's kind of cool. A little pamphlet. And then they tell a little bit more about it on the other side. So that's great. Um, I may try. Uh, uh, is it a seasonal? Is that what they call it? Seasonal styling boxes. I may try one of those if I'm not trying one right now. There's always a mailing bag. Uh, shipping both ways is free. And then we've got our little bundle. It's got the cute little sticker that says Dia on top. There it is from the side. Ooh, cute. Uh, polka dots, I love polka dots. We've got, looks like an enlarged teal, um, kind of like a Swiss dot right there. And black, a stripe, and possibly a pair of jeans. They usually send five items, although in my my boxes so far, I think this is only my fourth or fifth, uh, they have actually sent six. So we'll see. One, yep, this is six. Ha ha, I like that. It increases my odds of finding something I love. Um, I want to thank the people who have used, who have used my link to Dia and Co. Um, I really appreciate you guys. And I say this all the time, but people using my links has enabled me to continue 
uh, doing this. Um, this At this point, I don't have a thousand subscribers yet, so I'm not being monetized. And I'm not at the point really where companies are reaching out to me you know, to send me product to review. So every time you guys use my links, it truly does help me keep going. That's not a joke when I say it. Let's see, what do we have? I asked for things that would work for spring and summer and an upcoming trip to Northern California. I'm recording this ahead. What do we got? Oh, I like these. These look like some cute little, very lightweight culotte type pants. They lean down in the middle. They kind of do a slanty thing here towards the middle. We'll see how that looks. Um, I think these stripes going down could have the potential to be very flattering on me. So in very, very light fabric. These would be fabulous for summer. I am, uh, I've said this before, self-conscious about my legs and especially the top of my legs. And so things like that are a blessing. It'd be cool and I don't have to worry about that. What do we have here? Oh, this is cute. And I asked for strapless, which is the back. That's actually the back. Look at the buttons. I love that. And then right here, oh, that's so cute. And it's, um, it's gathering at the sleeves, but it looks a little bit ruffled. I'm a ruffle girl. It looks a little cropped. I'm excited to try that. I wonder if she wants me to wear those together. I'll throw that on the ground. Here's our dotted Swiss thing. What is this? Oh, this is a cute little t-shirt. Very, yeah, it's just a flutter sleeve t-shirt, a beautiful blue. Uh, I'm seeing on my screen, it looks like kind of like a royal blue, but it's actually leans more towards teal and perhaps that will show up as I do the, uh, the try on. Um, yeah, just a little V, but it's the fabric. And here's what I love about this one. It's the same fabric on the back too. It is not on both sides. Oh, let's talk brands. This is Daniel Rain. So that's a good brand. This is gonna have probably a pretty good price on it. It's a size large. This might be a little big on me, but we'll see. This one is by um, Babo. It's a medium. So I'll bet you this one fits. Ah, so excited, I like that one. And this one is by, oh, if I can ever find it, City Chic. It's an extra, extra small or size 12. <laughs> oh, that's good for my ego. I hope this fits. I really want that one to fit. Okay, we've talked about those enough. We've got our blue polka dot. Oh, that's so cute. Look at this little dress. Oh, 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 it's the 40s, 50s type style. It's cute. What size are you? This is also a size 12, extra, extra small, and it's also by City Chic. How cute is that? I don't know if you can see. It's got the little, little bow, like the Betty Boop bow in the front. Oh, we might run into a problem. The bust line right here, I don't know if you can see. There is a seam right there. I'm very busty. This may hit me in exactly the wrong place. There is some ruching in the back. So we'll, we'll see. We'll see. I'll try it on. We'll see how that works. Then we've got a pair of the Edit High Rise Shorts. Oh, good. Please be long. Oh, they're long. They're a size 12 and they look like the waist comes in. I am three different sizes. I'm probably a medium up top, sometimes a small. Okay, I'm a small through the shoulders. I'm a medium through the bust. I am a small or extra small through the waist and then I'm a large or extra large through the hips. So I don't ever get upset with the stylist when clothes don't fit. I'm just not one size and I'm not even one size in a particular item of clothing. I'm two sizes on pretty much everything. And, oh, I like these. They've got the, the unfinished hem. And these are also a pair. Oh, well, these are Molly and Isadora, size 10. I have high hopes for these. They're a size 10. And then these brand, these little cuffed shorts are chic denim, design for fit, made for addiction. <laughs> but I guess chic denim is the name of the brand on this one. Yep, that's it. So there we go. Alrighty, we'll be back in just a minute with a try on. Here we are with the adorable little blue dress. So many things I like 
about this one. Uh, the color is just beautiful, this blue with the white polka dots. It has a little cute little tie in the front, kind of gives it that 50s type vibe in addition to being not really a circle skirt, but having some more volume down here. Um, it has adjustable straps. Love that. Here's the back, the ruching in the back helps it fit right. I would say normally I would fit in a smaller size in this, but because of that ruching and because of the adjustable straps, it kind of makes it work for me, I think. Pockets, love those. And it is lined up to, up to here. So that's good. That gives me some extra modesty. Don't have to worry about light shining through or panty lines or anything like that. Um, it feels good. It's very lightweight. This would be such a great little sundress for the summer. Um, she suggested I could wear it with canvas shoes or a pair of heels, which is what I decided to do. And she said I could wear it with my City Chic blazer, which happens to be the one I was wearing on the invoice. I'm in the intro. The invoice is what I will look at later for prices. But that's that jacket. And I bought it from my last um, Dia and Company unboxing. And I'm really glad she's telling me how to combine things and wear them. So here it is, a little more of a dressed up look. I, I just love this, isn't it cute? But here's the thing, and you may have noticed when I came up close and maybe it's not really showing on the camera, there is a seam right here. And the seam on these I think really should go under the bust. If I lower the straps a little bit, that works. But if I lower the straps a little bit, then it gets indecently low in the front and it also pokes out funny underneath my arm. Um, so I kind of have to keep the straps up. I don't know though. Can you see this? <laughs> That's all I have to look back at the, uh, at the video and see if I can really notice it because I am tempted to keep this. I would love to have some little sundresses I can just wear casually. And I think this one is adorable. I'm trying to remember the size on this. Was it a large? It, it may have been, or maybe this is extra, extra small, 12. Typically a 12 is too big for me, but I think the, the details on this make it work. And the price may be good because that city chic jacket price wasn't outrageous. So maybe the dress price won't be either. Alrighty, um, I just wanted to tell you, I put this on with a strapless bra, and if you are heavy busted like me, I found a strapless bra that stays up. It is called Delimer is the name, D-E-L-I-M-E-R, I believe is how it's spelled. I found it on Amazon. It works really good. I think it has five hooks going up the back, and it has locked and loaded me all day long. So you might want to look into that if you are someone who struggles with finding a strapless bra that stays up in kind of a larger cup size. Okay, let's get on to the next outfit. She suggested I could wear this Daniel Rain top with either pair of shorts. I went with these because they have a more finished edge. It's a finished hem that's turned up and I felt like this top was a little bit on the dressier side. So these shorts, she sized me up in them. I'm trying to remember the brand. I'll tell you in a minute when I take them off. Uh, and I'm glad she did. She said that they run small. They're fitting pretty good. I mean, uh, they could be a little tighter in the waist, but maybe an inch. For me, this is a good fit in shorts. Uh, I'm not always real sure how I feel about this length, especially when they're tight around the knee, um, because I think it can not do anything to help minimize my hips, but I'll take a look at the footage. They're very comfortable. I may decide I want to keep these. Let me show you the back. I'm really kind of grateful Bermuda shorts are in style again. So there's the pockets. It's a true pocket with a button. So I like that. How did it look from the back? <laughs> I haven't seen yet. And now let's talk about the beautiful Daniel Rain top. Um, it's showing as kind of a royal blue on my viewfinder. It's actually like a deep teal. I very much like it. It has this dotted Swiss in the back as well. Very much like that. It's got the same dotted Swiss here in a sheer sleeve that has a loop lace detail right here. I don't know if you could, there you go. And that goes all the way down right here. Um, and then it's got the lining fabric underneath that extends. Daniel rain tops are expensive. 
Daniel Rain tops are very good quality. I've really noted that they're sewing details, they're done correctly, and there's the little, the little details in them that makes them special. And the fa fabric going all the way to the back, that's more expensive. This uh, fashion fabric on top, the, the dotted Swiss, is the more expensive of the two fabrics. So if I was sewing a top like this, I would have to charge at least as much as they do for Daniel Rain, and probably more because it's, it's quality. They're done very, very well. Let me take this out and show you the length. Whoops, flipped a tag out there. So this is the length of it. Um, the top is too big, unfortunately. Here we go. Look how much room through the waist. And it's really not through the waist, it's, it's through the back. I mean, it, it just looks so big on me. Tucked in, it was okay, but I would wanna be able to wear it out sometimes. So um, for the price, I haven't seen the price, but I'm sure for the price that it's going to be, I would rather have something that fits perfectly. And I don't think with Dia, I can exchange it down for a smaller size. Okay, so let's move on to the next pair of shorts. The brand on the last pair of shorts, those were the chic denim. Um, and again, if you're, I'll list everything down below. So if you want to ask your stylist for them, you can. But keep in mind, these do run a size small, a little bit on the small side, if you go looking for those on your own. Okay, next pair of shorts. I went ahead and I just put these with the shirt I had on the intro, although you probably couldn't see it. I found this at Maurice's a couple years ago, I think. And the sandals from my my last Stitch Fix. I don't know if I mentioned that when I had the other shorts on, but I haven't actually bought them yet. I'm still waiting to see what comes in my trunk club. But I think I'm probably gonna keep them because they're very, very comfortable. So here's the 11 inch shorts. Uh, these feel like actually they are shorter to me than two inches because the last one or one inch last one were 12 inch these are 11. these actually feel like they're a couple inches shorter but i don't think they're really bad um the part of my legs i'm most self-conscious about is up here i have the cellulite problem that a lot of women my age have even though i work out so um they feel a little bit snug but if i went any bigger they would be too big in the waist so um, these actually fit pretty good. I'm gonna check the prices on these when we do the wrap up, but I think if I don't keep anything else from this box, I'm gonna keep the two pairs of shorts. Cause like I said, I have none. I really have none that, that uh, fit me and work and I feel good in. So I like these. Um, pockets in the front. Is there a coin pocket? There's a coin pocket. They've got just one button in the front. The last ones had two. I love the more buttons. And here is the back. So let me know what you think about these shorts. Let's move on to the last two items. We have this strap top by Babo. It's a size medium. It has some little ruffles that are created by the shirring that makes the top fit around the shoulders. It's uh, elastic in there, so it kind of helps give it a good fit. I'll take it out in a minute. I'm not sure I would leave it tucked in with this, but I just wanted you to be able to see the top of these little pants. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about these. Um, I do like that there's a vertical stripes. I moved the, I tied it in a knot instead of a bow. I think that's the way to go on this. Still learning about styling things. And I moved it off to the side because right here just felt weird. So that's off to the side like that. There are no pockets. Very thin fabric, very cool, very comfortable. Uh, not sure this pointy thing in the middle is working for me. I almost wish the points were on the outside if they're gonna do points. I really wish it was just straight across. They fit, um, but even though the stripes are going down, I just feel like it adds to my hips somehow. Maybe it's because the top is tucked in. But let me show you the back from that on these. So, there's the pants. We'll take a look at the price. They are very, very comfortable. Um, but I'm not somebody who will pull for something just because it's comfortable. Uh, I need to feel good in it. I will wear something a little bit uncomfortable that looks good rather than wear something really comfortable that doesn't look so good. So here's the top. Now that it's pulled out, I would not wear it with these pants. It, well, Okay, I look a little, I look like a pregnant 55 year old woman, let's be honest. I will say when I front tucked it, cause I put this on before I took that last pair of shorts off, when I, it doesn't work here, but when I front tucked it into the shorts, it did look really cute. 
and I love that it's not doesn't have sleeves I, I love the, the less sleeves you put on me in summer the happier I am so this will be a consideration depending on the price alrighty I'm gonna get dressed or put on something and we'll be back with a wrap-up I decided for the wrap-up to leave this uh, black top on I really like it and I also wanted you to see what it looks like kind of front tucked I mean I realize it's in black pants so it's a little bit harder to tell but I do like the little top. Oh, there's the back of it. Did I show that to you? If I didn't, it's a shame. That's the cutest part of the whole thing. There we are. I like this. I mean, I, you know, I'd have to be careful how I wore it, but depending on the price, this could very well be a keeper. I did want to read you from uh, Chelsea's, um, just the beginning part of her stylist note. Dear, hi, Nancy Ann. Happy Dia Day. I absolutely, in all caps, loved your YouTube video. Um, I really appreciate it when the stylists watch the video and it's really for selfish reasons because they can see how I look in the clothes and then they can style me even better and they know the clothes. They know their own pieces and what will likely work on me and will not, which I think is a lot of the reason that Chelsea does so well with me on styling. She knows my style and she understands how my body's going to fit in things. That and she's working with plus size brands, which as I said in the intro, often fit us curvy girls a lot better. Okay, at least that's what I found so far. Um, we are adding six piece to our boxes for a limited time, but as of right now, it's not going to be forever. Let's dive in. So I appreciate that because it increases my odds of finding something that will work. It also gives me more to show you. And I think you guys appreciate that. If you uh, buy everything with a Dia box, you get 25% off, which is pretty good. However, I kind of wish that since they normally send five, they would give you 25% off of five. So that way you have the option of sending one piece back because there's a chance I would have done that with this box. But anyway, that's that's all for naught. Let's discuss prices. Okie doke. Let's see. First of all, um, the Bobo uh, Lucia button back tank. That's this one. I think it's Lucia in black size medium. This is 42. That's not too bad. It's, it's worth considering. Um, and we've got the Daniel Rain. This is the Sophie short sleeve top in royal blue, size large. This is $69, typical for Daniel Rain. Um, I don't think it's unreasonable for the quality. And right now I'm even looking at, look at the detail around the neck back here. It's got that, the sheer in between with the, uh, that's probably the bias tape right there. But I mean, there's some really good details on Daniel Rain's tops and actually considering the details, I think the price on them is really good. Oh, it's got smocking up here. I didn't notice that when it was on. It's got smocking up here at the uh, at the yoke. So this is a great little top. It's just too big for me. So unfortunately, it can't stay. That would be the one item I would for sure send back. If I could have got five at 25% off, I would have considered keeping the rest of this. Okay, let's see. Then we've got the City Chic Parker dress. This was so cute. Royal blue, white, extra, extra small, or 12. Um, it's 71. That's not too bad on a dress. The only thing that, um, you know, gives me pause is that seam that goes through the middle of my bust instead of under it. I'm going to have to think about this one. Um, I'm, I am filming this ahead, so I want to, I want to think about that. Uh, we've got the City Chic, uh, Kai, I think that's what it is, K-A-I, striped pant. This one is in pink slash peach. This is also extra, extra small, or a 12. These are 48. Great price on these. Since I can't get a discount, I think I'm going to send them back. Uh, I'm, I'm just not sure I would reach for them, and I'm not sure they were the most flattering thing, although I'll take a look at the, the footage because sometimes I change my mind. Then we have the City Chic Renata shorts in medium wash size 12. So those would have been these, the first ones I tried on, and they are 42. Yes, yes, you're staying. I need shorts, and um, I liked how long these were. Again, I'll look at the footage. I mean, perhaps I'll change my mind. But as of what I know right now, these are sticking around. And then lastly, we've got these. These are the Molly and Isadora, which is their house brand, by the way, for Dia and company. Um, Camilla Bermuda shorts, medium wash, size 10. These are 59. These are a little, little pricier. I don't know why. It's their house brand. But I'm actually considering keeping those. Between the two, it would be $101. Um, 
but I need shorts and these fit. I do have to do a trunk club unboxing today, so I'll see how that goes, but I like both of those and I have a good feeling they're gonna be sticking around. So when you see the trunk club, you might see these clothes sitting there on the rack and that's why. A lot of recording to do. I got behind with having to go out of town to help my daughter. Plus I need to record ahead because we have the trip to Vegas and San Diego coming up. It's, it's been a crazy life lately, folks. <laughs> well, if you use my link down below, again, you will get $25 off of your uh, first Dia box, and I will get a $25 discount too. Again, thank you very much. My viewers are awesome. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. Subscribe if you have not and you would like to. I would absolutely love to have you join us here at Nancy Ann's Unboxings. Um, let's see, oh, comment down below. I love the comments. I love getting your input. I think, nope, we will not be anywhere when this one comes out so I can respond to everything probably in pretty short order. And uh, if you'd like to get notification of my videos, please just hit that little bell and I'll let you know when they come up. Okay, that's it. I think we're done. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch. I always appreciate when you spend just a little bit of time with me. I'll talk at you later. Bye-bye and be blessed. Hey everybody, we have a Dia and Company. Um, nope. Turn it the right way. Okay, let's go. Hey everyone, we have a Dia and mm -mm, said the wrong thing.